Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome back to our YouTube uh, channel. Thank you for coming in today. Thank you for viewing our videos. And today, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you like what I'm preaching on this channel, what I'm teaching on this channel, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up and share it with someone else. God bless you. I'm going to get right into what I want to talk about today. And today I want to talk about two commands and a promise. Two commands and a promise. And I'm going to go right to uh, the book of Luke. And we're going to go to Luke chapter 8, verse 50. And that scripture says, But when Jesus heard it, he answered him, Do not fear, only believe, and she shall be made whole. Do not fear, a command only believe a command so let's look at the background of this scripture and when you look at the background of the scripture you'll find that in Matthew Mark and Luke uh, in this particular scripture uh, there is recorded uh, the account of Jairus and his daughter the account of Jairus's daughter which connects with the story of the woman with the issue of blood, the woman who wanted to touch Jesus's garment, the woman who did ch touch Jesus's garment. So these two stories are like interconnected sort of like. So in Luke's account, I'm gonna be looking specifically at Luke's account, even though it is recorded in Matthew and Mark, I wanna look at Luke's account of uh, Jairus's, Jairus and his daughter. And so we see that in Luke's account, Jesus is returning from the land of the Gadarenes. So he's coming back from that side of the seashore and he's going back over to the other side of Galilee. And when he gets to the other side, which is Galilee, he finds that there's a crowd waiting for him on the seashore. And in that crowd is a man named Jairus. And Jairus was a synagogue ruler in Capernaum. And he's in the midst of that crowd. And so Jairus is the one that has the daughter that's sick and dying, the 12 year old girl. So the Bible says that when Jairus saw Jesus, he came and he fell down at Jesus' feet, humbling himself. And he begged Jesus to come to his house because of his sick daughter who was so sick that she was at the point of death. And so uh, in, Mark 5, chapter, in Mark chapter five, verse 23, you'll see that Jairus is expressing his faith. He's, he has something specific that he says to Jesus as he begs Jesus to come to his house to see about his daughter. And so he releases his faith with his words. He had his uh, words were filled with faith. And so what he expresses to Jesus and what he says in Mark chapter five, verse 23, he says, uh, lay your hands on her so that she might be healed. He asked Jesus, come to his house lay your hands this is him expressing his trust and his faith in jesus's ability to heal and he says lay your hands on her and she'll be healed what is jairus doing releasing faith through his words he's expressing his faith he's speaking his faith and then we see that jesus follows jairus's home now in my opinion Jairus' faith and trust in Jesus, the releasing of the words that he spoke, uh, indicated that he had faith in Jesus. He had faith in Jesus' ability to heal. And so, in my humble opinion, I believe that what moved Jesus to follow Jairus' home was that Jesus heard faith in the words that Jairus spoke. And so, on the way to Jairus' house, this is where the woman with the issue of blood comes in. So that encounter with her occurs as Jesus is following Jairus to his house. And so his encounter with the woman with the issue of blood kind of slows Jesus down a little bit. And so while Jesus is dealing with that encounter with the woman with the issue of blood, someone comes from Jairus' house with bad news, bad tidings. So someone comes from Jairus' house while Jesus is connecting with the woman with the issue of blood. And they bring bad news. And what they say is, you know, don't bother the teacher any further. Your daughter is dead. 
So in Luke chapter 8, verse 50, this is Jesus addressing what this person just said, what this news was that just came out of Jairus' house. And in Luke chapter 8, verse 50, Jesus is speaking directly to Jairus. He's not talking to the crowd. He's not talking to his disciples. He speaks directly to Jairus. He responds to that news and he, he speaks directly to this girl's father. And he speaks two commands and one promise. Two commands in one promise in the short few words that Jesus said directly to this father. He said, do not fear. And see, these were not suggestions. This wasn't time for suggestions. <coughs> Jesus commanded, do not fear Jairus, only believe two commands and then the promise and she will be made whole and she will be healed. If you do not fear, if you only believe, then she will be made whole. And she will be made whole is the promise. What is your, and she will be made whole today? What is the promise that you are waiting to be manifested? And I ask you that because what Jesus said to Jairus is just as true for you and I today. And that is, do not fear, do not be afraid. Only believe then then you will see the manifestation of the promise. Amen. That's why I asked you that question. What is your, and then she will be made whole. Fill in that blank. Do not fear, only believe, because that rings true for you and I today. So listen, look at what's happening here. J.R. is on the spot immediately, then and there, had to choose embrace the bad news coming out of his house which was and your daughter is dead or j iris had to decide on the spot i'm not going to fear i'm only going to believe he had to make that decision in his heart that bad news was real that came out of his house and he had to decide right then and there i believe and so those of us that have experienced life those of us that have experienced you know walking with god we know that there are times that there are moments and instances where situations occur where you've got to make a decision right there on the spot immediately right then and there i'm going to believe god i'm going to believe god regardless of what i just heard i'm going to stay in faith i'm not going to fear i'm not going to be afraid there comes times in our lives when we don't have time to process things. Sometimes things are happening and we don't have time, you know, like Jay Iris would have, you know, if he had time to process it, you know, he would have been standing there thinking, oh my God, the news from my house, oh my God. You know, he would have been responding to this news, but he didn't have time. This was not a situation where he could respond in the negative. This is a situation where Jay Iris had to, right then and on the spot, he had to make a decision in his heart. I'm operating in faith. I'm going to believe God. So in order to see his daughter healed, he had to remain in faith. Listen, he had to remain in faith or else. He had to remain in faith or else. He had to remain in faith. I'm repeating that for a reason. I'm putting emphasis on it. He had to remain in faith or else. You know what the or, or else is, don't you? So what Jesus said to Jairus, you and I, we have to embrace that same thing today. So I want you to say this with me today. Fear not, only believe. Fear not, only believe. Fear not, only believe. Say that with me today. Say, I will not fear. I will believe. I, did you say that with me? Let's say it again. Let's say it again. I will not fear. I will believe the message bible records uh luke chapter 8 verse 50 like this it says don't be upset just trust me and everything will be all right that's encouraging today isn't it don't don't be upset the message bible records luke chapter 8 verse 50 don't be upset just trust me and everything will be all right amen this message today is to encourage me, to encourage you, 
that we would keep on believing to see the manifestation of the promise or promises, regardless of what we've heard, that we just instantly make a decision in our heart. I'm going to re believe the report of the Lord, regardless of what I just heard, regardless of what they just said. And then when you look on, when you read on in the story, you'll see that Jairus' daughter in Luke chapter uh, 8, verse 54 and 55, Jesus kept his promise to Jairus. So obviously, Jairus stayed in faith. Amen? He must have stayed in faith. When you read the story, you'll see Jesus walked into Jairus' house. He put out all those people that were in mourning and crying. And, and the Bible says it was uh, confusion, so much confusion, so much loud noise in the house where the people were wailing and where they were crying over Jairus' daughter, uh, dead daughter. They, Jesus put those people out and he only took into the room three of his disciples and Jairus and the mother. And Jesus fulfilled his promise to Jairus. That little girl was raised up. Jesus touched her hand. She was raised up. She got up and walked and Jesus told the mother and the father to give her food. Amen. So Jesus fulfilled his part. And obviously, Jairus stayed in faith because the little girl was raised up. Remember what Jesus told him? He gave him that command. Don't fear, only believe, and she will be made whole. She was made whole, so there was faith there. Amen? The Bible says, all things are possible to him that believe. We keep on believing, and keep on believing, and keep on believing, and we'll see the manifestation of those promises that we're believing God for. Amen? Okay, talk to you soon.